So what I mean by degree shots, I'm talking precision and consistency based on fast and calculated deep presses on our thumbsticks at a 45, 90, or 180 degree angle. The 90 and 180 being the most key ones for this video for better shot placement from what we're facing. Here's a 45 or half of 90, which are used in the most close quarter chunk zone firefights. It involves the most minute adjustments for mouse users. Pillar on right is where the 90 degree shots come into play. Unless going for an up A or back A, which are most risky to pull off. The height of the character we use should be used to calculate chunk zone if going for one shot kills. Pillar on left is not always available so curve shots will have to be the tactic required to get the job done. Same thing goes for the no pillar on right and dude is covered on the left. 90 degree curve shot. Back A and up A here is where it's too much of a risk. Here's a juke shot 90 degree curve shot. Notice the little black circle to demonstrate how blind fire is used to always calculate those center screen shots. Calculated rolls keeping chunk zone area in mind. We should already be doing our aim adjustment while the roll animation happens. Climb up animation works the same way as a roll animation, making the aim while the animation does its thing. Fastest way to get that shot count accurately. If you notice in over 90% of my battles, blind firing will require a bot walk movement of my character to the rear, either to my four, six or seven o'clock directions or southeast south and southwest directions all this to ensure that i don't get bot walked on if i miss a shot and forces them to curve shot or quick aim here's the 180 degree shots where we're facing from north to south a complete turnaround of our avatar the setting on the controller or mouse for a movement should be high for this for even a nasher counter to take place because otherwise would be no room for that it helps to bot walk backward to make the thumbstick or movement or mouse adjustment to make that aim happen quicker. Aside from rushing to cover or bot walking rear while making the aim adjustment, there's another way to make that 180 happen faster. That's with the roadie run depress to our avatar's rear. I remember mentioning this a long time ago in one of my first tip videos, but that was using a roll, which is also really effective on making that turn happen consistently and accurately. It helps with reacting quicker to flanks and to be better to better hear or see behind us, which improves our situational awareness to make better choices in strategic movements around the map. All right, so these are the 360 degree kills. We're making a complete turnaround. It's double the 180. So after this 45 to 90 degree angle curve shot, you can actually see that I'm trying to bait the enemy out by keeping my vision to his most probable location, making that juke vulnerable movement with the roll, but also making a 360 happen with that roll the same way the 180 roll happens. The difference being that I'm doing a side roll versus a front roll for that 360 to come about. Shooting at the right time will first become the biggest challenge to anyone learning the blind fire and making these degree shots more consistent so latency will affect us and keep in mind high ping, slow refresh rate, streaming and heavy CPU programs like OBS will make this harder on oneself. Also for controller users not using the very bottom pointy tip of the RT trigger going to be in going for the middle spot will also affect that accuracy and the consistency. So if you've seen there in that clip I did a 360 turn using 180 degree turns and same here. It's almost a 360 degree, it's like two 180s, but not quite. It's like a 180 and like two thirds of a 180. Well, that's pretty much the gist of it. Thanks for watching.